Radiant Team, pick! for newbie in this lane, but still not a bad item to have. He's on top lane now. We'll get a bash on FY. He also has a time on forward. He gets the secondary bash. Now he's going to go for it. That RNG. It's only a level one bash, man. It's only 10%. percent one more auto attack would do it. Can he get it off? Boots are up. FY doesn't have his, but this consistent frost arrow spam. He's close. First one. Coming newbie's way. A lot of these uh, Lich rotations working out well. And Lich now level 6, so there's also Chain Frost coming into play for newbie as well. So... While mid, mid lane was a disaster, the other two lanes going free. Holy well, shit, we're yeah. back in the game. It was literally two minutes. Oh, Alright, right. top lane on that <laughs> point. How will go, but he's probably dropping for these. He's got six tick charges. This is pop up. Still has a spawn. Now Black will rotate in. Score five to three. Catch you guys up. It's a slight lead right now for the Dire Squad. And until they die. The Skyrath can build it. They should get at least get a Yule Scepter, I would say. Yeah, they haven't got. Yeah, I guess Skyrath is the hard supports, but yeah, maybe I guess I still for one. Since he doesn't need to go mad. Well, okay. Doom Super as he runs in. Now the Tombstone's drop. He's not TPing out of this, and if he tries to, it might be too late. Chain Frost thrown out the other direction, and well, Ice 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 for the time being, it's okay. It's just bouncy between these zombies and doing absolutely nothing. Yeah, zombies. Hard counter for the Chain Frost. Fenrir will end up escaping. He won the Chronosphere. Going on to Super, but he mechs up. He's gonna survive. Blank not joining the fight. He'll silence and push back three as the Visage also joins in. How? Time walking, but the Soul Scepter will follow him. He'll end up going down. Banana needs to TP out. Doesn't have to mana for it. He'll end up going down too. Despite the no way to cancel TPs, he's still getting three kills. It's a triple for the Visage. He's got half of his Aghanims already. It could have been an Ultra, but it is a team wipe for BG. As a time walk, perhaps will come through, but he doesn't have his ult or attack to madness. He doesn't have his ultimate. Yeah, now he gets silenced. They might be able to turn on him. No, nope. Chronosphere now ready. He's not for off. He's going to be forced to drop it just to cover the retreat. And, well, not the best. Ice Ice Miss Doom. He already got his tombstone, though. Mystic Flare coming out, but that hero's already dead. His little trace thing chain. They'll kill him off, too. Two dead. Looking for a third. Ice Ice Ice, ice. will end up going down to the Chain Frost, but Banana will be the trade. FY gets yet another kill. And suddenly so up to 740 gold. I don't know. I guess they're just like damned if you do damage to Dota at this point, so... And... Uh, the VH here not gonna stop. They've got 71 damage for auto attack on these familiars. Oh, yeah. It's gonna sit at a solid 57. And that's two and a half attacks a second doing that damage. Now I will connect with the Chronosphere, but he's getting really chopped up by this Razor Ult Spin. This is Rave ready if they need it for him, as they leave one in reserve. Chain Frost does bounce, it will go nicely between two heroes, directly between Fenrir and Black, then it bounces forward a little bit. It's Chain Frost I've seen in a long time, but Black just chunks his way through it, still gets off the kill. The Familiar resummons even available, and they're still alive. They're gonna kill off Banana as well. FY, as he always seems to be, the carry for the squad. But the Heal Bomb, ooh, the Heal Bomb actually did a lot of work to those. Well, it might even be over if not for if not for that good start. He still clicks three one even after the recent deaths. Familiars are on the move, looking for supports to snipe out and also just potentially setting up for go here on how. Mask of is pop, familiar stun. First few auto attacks, second stun, third stun. Killed off by the visage with a little help from Fenrir, but just a just a little bit only. Michael will try to throw this Mystic Clear not up to FY, so the Nana and the Familiars are gonna pursue him out. No stun, still doom FY. And throwing out a chain cross as well, big commitment to kill the visage. Bouncing between the familiars and doing nothing in the process. Now they chase the other direction. On to banana they go, still juggling that chain cross between the familiars. Stomps going down at five. Not gonna be ready in time, but they don't need him. Sang chain will still go down. Newbie lose three. They get two. But they don't kill the drow, they don't kill the familiars, and that means it's high ground time, baby. BG gaming. Segulator Brex. If there's no buybacks on the radiant. Bothering to spend it, it's almost like they've already just given up cards. Uh, yeah, boys back in five seconds, I guess, but yeah, I think this is I think this is approaching the point of no return for newbie. Two, two lanes of Raxes and there's no way to engage or fight into this Vici Gaming fight, man. This is I mean this is the Vici Gaming from TI4. Same strat, different heroes and some slightly different players, but it's essentially the same recipe for success. <laughs> Um, I, I yeah. think he might have like held, like rolled his face across the keyboard. I'm not really sure. <laughs> well, that was the, that sums up his his probably feelings about the Drove Visage combo. <laughs> and with that, gods, VG Gaming are the first team out of all regions to qualify for the Star Ladder Season 10 Land Finals. They will now be going not only to ESO One but also to Star Ladder Season 10. They will have two chances to prove themselves on Western soil. And uh, Black maybe you know gets to gets to go see his family while he's back in Europe. We'll see.
but Vichy, they just, they haven't been perfect by any means, but overall, they